is the only game in town as the focus in the Big D is on their Mavericks. And tonight, TNT's playoff coverage continues as the number eight seed Dallas Mavericks trying to take a commanding lead over the number one seed, the San Antonio Spurs. If you play the way your team is supposed to play, as you see Ginobili knock one down right there off the out of bounds. After the game, we saw game three, 109, 108, 36 percent Ginobili gets there again. What is that? It never happened till they started coaching it. Ginobili. Ginobili. Then it gets down to who gets the final possession of the final look. And, and pretty well, I know that seems like a short comment. It's a great pass right there from Ginobili to splitter. Finish, and then they have also got him back in the game. Ginobili, all the way to the rim. They were worried about the pass once again to Splitter. Didn't stop Ginobili. So Ginobili with only one miss. Five of six, ten points. As Dirk Nowitzki starting to pick things up. Carter, three on the arc. I mean, in a deep freeze for the Dallas Mavericks. They're down by nine. So Ginobili back on the floor. With D out. And Ginobili casting the three and getting it. Seven point game at 41 34. Ginobili into double figures, almost gave it away. Good save. Shot clock down. Diaw comes through. Two three zone. They have advantages in the post if they choose to go in there. Parker trying to get there. And Ginobili. Beautiful pass. Tim Duncan on the easy finish. Ginobili carving him up inside. Had to have it down two games to one on the road. So far, it's so good for Popovich and his squad. And on the dive, Tim Duncan going to the line looking for the three-point play. Well-timed entry by Ginobili. I mean, if you look at this San Antonio bench that are known for their cool and calm, they are not cool and calm tonight. They are engaged, and they are pumped up. The pick and roll has been hurting Dallas all night long. Marion gets over a little bit late for the roll. Why? Because Bonner was at the top, and when Bonner's up at the top, you have to respect him. You see him back there. They can pass it to Bonner, who can shoot the three. You have to pick your poison with this. And a good job by Splitter. Defending without Bonner. So it stays an 11-point game. Ginobili going to the free throw line, leading with a three-point play. Created it, got it, and he's had it. Not to put himself in a position to get a tough foul, but you need his offense on the other end. Ginobili. And D out on the run out. Go on, Blair. A little bit late. Trying to pick up the charge. Ginobili can put it away here. Makes it a three-point game. Here later. He didn't give up on the play. And that'll do it. Have to bring it in. Avoid contact. They will. And that'll do it. So the San Antonio Spurs in a desperate mode. Manu, you guys are up by 20. The Mavericks fight back in this. How were you able to stave them off? It was really hard. They played the second half with a, a lot of aggressiveness. Uh, they made more shots. DB, Luan Blair for them was huge with his aggressiveness and toughness. And we kind of stopped. Uh, we got that lead because we moved the ball, we penetrated, we pitched. And we kind of stopped in the second half. Uh, that's why they, they made this run. After the crushing loss in game three, did this feel like a must win? Oh, for sure. For sure. We didn't want to go 3-1 three down. Uh, three one down. Uh, and it was a, a really tough loss. Uh, it really hurt. So this one uh, was huge for us. Uh, I'm very glad we, we get it done. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Guys. JV teams that have fallen behind 3-1 have lost 95% <laughs> of the time.